In this practical math video, let's learn how to draw the part part whole model for an addition problem. Hi everyone, welcome to Practical Math. To help you get started with Singapore math word problems easily, let's learn about the part part whole model, okay? Now, because what we are going to learn uses the idea of parts and whole, it might be a good idea to check out our previous video on number bonds if you haven't seen it already. If you're ready, grab a pencil and paper and let's jump right in. Here's a math problem that we're going to solve today. Dan has 3 chocolate chip cookies and 5 butter cookies. How many cookies does Dan have altogether? As you can see, we have kept the numbers really small in the problem so that we can focus on drawing the model. The big idea behind model drawing is to use rectangular bars to show different amount of things, alright? So before we start drawing, let's try to figure out what are the things that we are looking at in this problem. Dan has 3 chocolate chip cookies and 5 butter cookies. Looks like we have 2 types of cookies here. And what are we supposed to find? How many cookies does Dan have altogether? So we need to find the total number of cookies. So far so good? Now, because the chocolate chip cookies make up a part of all our cookies, and the butter cookies make up the other part of our cookies, we can put these two parts together to form a hole. Agree? Not the hole in your pocket, but a hole that refers to everything that Dan has. And that's where the part part hole model comes in. Let's see how to draw the model. Remember what we said earlier on about models? Models are just rectangular bars which show different amount of things. So the more things we have, the longer our bar model will be. And the fewer things we have, the shorter the bar model will be. Following so far? Since we already know that one part of the model is going to represent the 3 chocolate chip cookies, and the other part of the model is going to represent the 5 butter cookies, we need to compare the numbers 3 and 5 and decide which bar is the longer one. So what do you think? 5 is definitely greater than 3, correct? So looks like the longer bar will be the one that represents the butter cookies. Did you get that? If you got it, great job! Give yourself a pat on the back. Now are you ready with your pen and paper? Let's draw the model for this problem together, alright? Dan has 3 chocolate chip cookies. So first, we are going to draw a rectangular box. You can start by drawing two straight lines that are equally long with your ruler, and then add in the sides after that. Good job! Now this box, or bar, is going to represent the number of chocolate chip cookies that Dan has. Do we know how many chocolate chip cookies he has? He has 3 of them, correct? And we are going to write that number in the box. And well done everyone! We now have a bar that represents 3 chocolate chip cookies. So we are done with one part. Next, we are going to put the other 5 butter cookies into our model. Because we are drawing different parts that make up a whole, we are going to draw the other part beside the bar that we see here. Alright? So same thing, draw 2 longer straight lines that are equal, and then add in the sides. And this bar, my dear friends, represents the number of butter cookies that Dan has. And since we know that he has 5 butter cookies, we are going to write 5 in the bar. So far so good? Now going back to the question, we are asked to find how many cookies Dan has altogether. So do you know which part of the model we are supposed to find? If you spotted the keyword altogether, you would have guessed that we can put these two parts together to form the whole. So let's label this part with a question mark to remind us that this is what we want to find. And with that, you did it! You have just finished drawing your first part part whole model. Now drawing the right model is really important for us to help us see what's going on in the problem. And besides that, it also helps us to decide whether we should add, subtract, multiply, or divide the numbers to find the answer to our question. When we look at our model now, how do you think we can find the total number of cookies? I hope you said add 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. So part plus part equals to whole. See how this works? So looks like Dan has 8 cookies altogether. And this is simply an addition math problem. Now that you have learned how to draw a part part whole model for an addition problem, you should be able to draw the same kind of model to solve other Singapore math addition work problems too. So don't forget to try out your new skills with the questions on practical and see how well you have mastered this. Thank you so much for watching and happy problem solving!